So with the pandemic, a lot of us were staying home, maybe working from home. Perhaps you're working from home right now. And if you are, maybe you're, I don't know, taking a jog around the neighborhood or you're finally getting some free time, that commute time gone. You have a little more you time. So you go outside, you do your jog. All of a sudden, you start to feel a little bit of a pain in that joint of yours. What's that pain about? Who am I going to talk to? My doctor needs to know about this. Well, the doctor's in the house. Dr. John Baldoff is here. He's a joint replacement specialist for both shoulder, hip, and knee. And he's talking to us about a new technology that could help you. How are you, doctor? Doing well, thank you. Uh, so let's talk about, especially nowadays, this is, seems to be a, a pretty big thing. There are some people that are not going to see the doctor because of COVID and they'll let something like a little nagging pain degenerate. There are other people that may be able to make those appointments. However, they're out there getting a little bit more exercise around the neighborhood and they're having that pain arrive. Tell us why it's so important to pay attention to that pain that you're feeling. A lot of, surprisingly, a lot of people think surgeons focus on surgery, but the vast majority of what we do is actually non-surgical. So there's a lot of different options besides surgery. So we're very aware of what those other options are, how to overcome some uh, joint pains that may uh, become a bigger issue. Uh, yeah. Early joint wear, there's some ways to protect against that. Obviously, the most likely thing would be weight, but there's a lot of options. So we're not just surgeons. We're very adept at being basically musculoskeletal primary care physicians as well. Yeah, ultimately, the less you take the scalpel out, the happier you'll be and the happier the, 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 they'll, be, they'll be as well. I hear the, the word or the term joint health thrown around a lot. How exactly does one take care of their joint health? Again, it's being active is the biggest thing I see. So there's a variety of things, whether it's when it comes to joint health, there's in an elderly population, there's basically an arthritic situation we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, but so there's five things with that. There's medications, injections, physical therapy, bracing and surgery. So from a patient standpoint, the medications and then activity, shoe wear modifications, lifestyle modifications, job modifications, a lot of things that a lot of it is actually common sense, but people don't think in that arena so much. Yeah. And we're just uh, because that's what we experience. We can give them that information. Yeah. Uh, if it does come down to surgery, obviously, you know, you have your, you, you we've seen what we've seen on ER. Or we might know somebody that does kind of go in under the scalpel and you're kind of like having to go. Go about it in your own way via your eyes, but there is new technology out there, uh, Mako Smart Robotics, that can make uh, this a lot perhaps easier and better results in the long term. Yes, sir. It's uh, interesting. Uh, Mako which is a, a striker uh, product. Uh, and what that does, it takes a three dimensional CAT scan of the, of the individual patient's knee or hip, potentially in the future shoulder. And from that anatomy, from that three-dimensional CT, we can define the position of the implant so that we get the exact cut position, the exact implant sizing, exact mm -hmm. balancing, and that's modified at the time of surgery as well. So it's not just preoperatively and put this device in with the robot. It's modified in surgery based on their ligament balancing and the individual patient. So it's very specific to the patient, and it gets really good results in that regard. This is kind of like uh, the difference between buying a suit off the rack and getting something that's tailor-made for your body. This is something that is not, oh, which one is it, small, medium, or large? This is something that was specifically made for this specific patient at this specific time. Well, sizing is one thing, but the, the and that's part of it, but the other is the balancing. So the implant has to function very specifically. Yeah. And that's what this is adept at. It gets the cuts in just the right spot so that the, the knee functions perfectly. And the implants actually can be sized down to a millimeter in difference to wow. accommodate. That is a very, very small tolerance. And again, the, the, the closer that you get these tolerances for that person, the better the results are going to be, not just for that day, but for many, many years to come, which is incredibly impressive. Uh, if, if viewers want to learn more about this technology, where can they go? Uh, look up Mako Smart Robotics, makosmartrobotics.com. On that Mako Smart Robotics website, there's opportunities to see other physicians and seminars. It really, uh, it really is cool technology. You know what? I, I'm not a, I, I see half of me worries about our robot overlords, but then I hear about this stuff and it's great. <laughs> so there's a balance. Uh, doctor, it's great having you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Have a good day. All right. Really, you know what? It is incredible technology and it's giving a solution for your, your joint health 
just for you. MakoSmartRobotics.com if you want to learn more.